Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and this is what sold on eBay from September 2nd through September 8th. Sorry I'm a little late, I was out a few more, a few days. I was at a casino and having some fun out of town. So let's just jump right into the video and show you what I, what I did. Okay, um, so like I said it's September 2nd through the 8th. And every week I have to sell at least $1,200. That's my minimum that I need to survive. And uh, this week we did a great uh, $2,503. That's because I listed my butt off last week. I listed 300 items in three days. I'm up 59% compared to the prior week. So that's, that's just amazing. Um... Last 31 days, I'm up 6.5%, uh, and compared to the year ago, I'm up 433%. That's just hard work, guys. Put in the work, um, you get your money back, and it's proven this year. I'm really working hard this year, and it's paying off. So let's just jump into uh, what I sold. Uh, this is a little sum sum uh, Christmas mini Pluto like gift set I purchased them on Amazon they were a big sale I believe they were a couple dollars a piece I'm not positive I don't remember but they were like I would say a couple years ago and it's just a little gift set nothing huge or anything but you know, Christmas is coming I gotta get more Christmas items up there I already sold three of them uh, for $13.99 each so they're selling they're not big profit margins, but hey, what the heck? This is a uh, Princess Bell, sold for $14. Uh, I got the, her out of the Goodwill bins. She's not the prettiest thing. Look at her face; it's not great, but I threw her up there, hoping some of the water, even though she didn't look as good as I expected Princess Bell to look. So, but yeah, she sold. Um, Fourteen dollars shipped. So here's a little bulldog terrier puppy by Circo. Circo, I'm not too familiar with. So I just threw it up there. It had a little scratch on its eye. I just disclosed it, and it's just a black and white puppy with his tongue sticking out. Circo, there, there's the tag for Circo. Not a great brand that I believe in but they sold for $11 so for like 25 cents what the heck these are um, little purses they're made from dogs they're called whimsy whimsy purses this is a Shih Tzu they they have many different kinds there's bulldogs and Dutch hounds wiener dogs it's nothing huge. I didn't even buy this. Um, it came in one of those bags that I got for two dollars. I buy two dollar bags, and it came in one of those. I didn't even expect anything, and so for twenty two dollars, I was shocked. Yeah. And these books again. I've shown you last few weeks. I sold another one. Four sold. Thirteen ninety nine. I bought a big lot of them, so hopefully they keep selling. They're just superheroes, super villains, but you guys have seen them before, watched prior videos. They're just terrible superheroes and terrible villains. That's all they are. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. This is a Disney Store orange T-shirt, uh, Mickey Mouse Halloween. I purchased all these shirts. Uh, I purchased about uh, 20 of these about 20 there's mini ones there's Mickey ones I got these all at the Disney store after Halloween it was like two months after Halloween so they were really marked down they were like 80% off and I just purchased a bunch of these I'm not too into clothes I really don't like clothes but they were all glow-in-the-dark so I thought they were cool there's black ones um, there's different sizes large medium 
for uh, men, women, they're all different designs. And I have a ton of them. I have uh, Nightmare, uh, a Nightmare Before Christmas, Mickey, Goofy. Uh, there was just a ton of them. So I'm selling for about 13 to $20 each. Now the time to sell them because of Halloween. This came from the Goodwill bins. It was a got a big stack of them. It was a stack of like twenty. Cost me almost nothing. It's Dino Crisis three. Sold for thirteen dollars. You can see it's really messed up. It's really ugly. Hopefully it still works. <laughs> I didn't test it. As long as it doesn't come back, I don't mind. But for thirteen dollars, it paid for the whole stack. These little bears, um, I found them in a bag of bears. I just bought a bag. Uh, it was one of the, another one of those two dollar bags, and it just had a whole bunch of different bears. It was um, an expensive FAO Schwartz bear, so that's what I bought the bag for. And these were just threw them, um, were just thrown in the bottom of the bag. I didn't even know they were in there, and I just threw them up there. And hopefully they're selling. They would sell, and they did. They sold for ten seventy nine. Which I didn't expect anything from them, so it, it was a great find. This Chuck E. Cheese, I just put up a bunch of advertisement plush uh, when I was listing so much the last few weeks. Or last week, I should say, when I listed 303 days. And a bunch of the different Chuck E. Cheese uh, plush, I don't know, people are looking for them, so I guess there's a bobo right now. Because Chuck E. Cheese plush is going great right now um, nothing great about them people just want them sold for thirteen dollars there's another one like I said Chuck E. Cheese is going great so you have find any Chuck E. Cheese plush buy them up and nothing exciting about them people just want them I don't even know what for what reason another one sold thirteen forty nine this has a this one at least is a little more more interesting. It has like a gift card or a money holder. It says happy birthday. See, here's the pouch. But people like Chuck E. Cheese right now. Especially if you find like the the other characters like the dog or there's a purple, I forget what his name is. Munch or something. Those uh, sell for a higher price, like 25 or so. So just keep an eye out for any Chuck E. Cheese tags. Here's a little Lion King mask. With Halloween coming up, uh, great time to put up all your masks. Especially Lion King, the movie just came out, so it's a little toddler mask. It doesn't sell for much. Eight ninety nine free shipping, so make a few dollars. But it was, it weighs nothing. I got it from the Goodwill bins, basically for what a quarter, maybe less, because it really it's way, it really weighs nothing. Here's the food containers. This I found at a regular thrift store. I rarely go to regular thrift stores. But this one, every once in a while, you find items for 25 cents. This is what I found these for. They were 25 cents. Um, bought, I think, about 50 of them. It was him. There was Hulk, like little candy dishes. A few t-shirts. They were all just 25 cents, so I just bought all I had. So they actually came out for less than 25 cents because I bought everything, and they just said here take it for this amount of money and they, they they just gave up on county after a certain point so I have 15 more I probably have more than that I just to do 15 up and they're selling for ten dollars a pop at well ready for sold for a quarter what the heck buy things in bulk a little minecraft uh, Christmas ornament Christmas ornaments are going great I bought these at where were these? Oh, these were at uh, Kmart when it was closing. They were 90% off. I believe they were $10 and then 90% off, so I paid like a buck. I got a ton of ornaments when Kmart closed. I just bought everything they have. I had Paw Patrol and Minecraft and 
Marvel, and a whole bunch of different items. But, yeah, $14. Can't beat a <laughs> dollar into 14 Here's a little uh, needle, what is this, needle treasures. All these are embroidery. I got this from a bulk lot I bought from Donatella's group. She has a wholesale group and I just bought a whole bunch of these. It came up to about $3 a piece. So these are selling. Uh, what did I get for I got $20 for it. So great find, $3.20. It's can't go wrong. What else is next? Here's a little Mega Man game. Uh, two sold. I paid six dollars for them, so I paid up for them. But they they sell very fast, so it's really worth it. And it's just two pictures, front and back, because they're brand new sealed. Nothing to the video games. I still have twelve left. Hopefully they sell fast. So I make about ten dollars a piece. Here's remotes. Um, you've seen these remotes before. I bought a big lot at the Goodwill bins. There's nothing to them. I just take four pictures. This one was actually sealed in a bag. I open it up just to take some pictures. And just got a big bag of them and they're selling. Uh, this one sold for $13.49. I've sold several of them already. So. Yeah, at least this one's awesome. It's a Diamond Select Marvel Squirrel Girl, which I've never even heard of. So <laughs> I guess I gotta watch the program. I don't know where it's on, but it's probably on Netflix or something. But she's cool. Look at the little squirrel on her shoulder. <laughs> uh, I bought these uh, for ten dollars a piece. The figure is really awesome. I got a bunch of figures. I still have a bunch. I still still have to put up, but. They're really cool. Marvel. Yeah, it's from Marvel, so I gotta find out where it's from. I just I just sold one for forty and I have one left. But they're really great. I only paid ten dollars for them. They cost about ten dollars to ship. These you've seen the bottles before. They each contain a pacifier inside of them. Nothing special. But they were I believe I paid 50 cents a bottle, so I've got $2 into every time I sell a set, and $20. Here's a ghost. I believe I brought these up before too. They're Thai. I bought a huge lot of them. I found another bag of them. I believe I was uh, 25 in the bag. I put up 15 just to make sure because I didn't really count it because I knew there was a bunch of them. But yeah, they're selling for $10. I already sold eight. Halloween, and guess they like the ghosts. It's a feisty pet. If you don't know what that is, it's a little bear. You hit the side of its head, and it like tries to bite you. Look, <laughs> there, there you go. So <laughs> that's how the feisty pets are. Nothing really big. It's just they're sweet, and now they're feisty. <laughs> Uh, of course, I got these out of the Goodwill bins. Fourteen thirty-nine for him. He was used. They can go for a lot more money when they're new, so keep an eye out for him. His name is Sir Growls a lot. He's <laughs> he's pretty cool. Uh, this is Gun. This is a Gun. Boo, the world's cutest dog. Pomeranian. I'll take your word for it. But nah, nothing special. Just a little gun dog. I'm glad gun puts the name on the tag. That so if you ever get a gun, just look for the tag. You don't have to um, look it up. It's just there for you. I'm, I love gun because of that. It's so easy to find. Disney does that every once in a while too. But gun, oof! Thank you, gun. It's <laughs> so much easier to list when the name's right on the tag. Alright, these um, don't go for much, so I put in a lot of two. Bandit has tag, Rocco has no tag, and has a light scratch in its eye. I sold both of them for eleven sixty nine, so nothing big. But, of course I only pay like a quarter each. They're just both little raccoons. There's a scratch, it's a nasty scratch. 
surprised I sell it. This was a velvet tie. Or velvet tee. <laughs> 11.69 for both of them. Not a lot of money, but hey, it's something. Here's Stone Cold Steve Austin. I bought these uh, for I think I believe it was three three dollars a piece. Um, I sold all six of them. They were 16.99. I was selling them for 17 or 17.99. I had to believe it, like 20 of these at one time at the beginning. And it's just a little figure. I actually found one more, so I relisted them. So I'll have one more to sell soon. I'll be able to show you when that sells. Yeah, he's got his beer. <laughs> one one stone cold. That's a cool little figure. Here's a little basic bear. It's Ten seventy nine so far. It's a jointed. Boyd Bear. It says you stole my heart. Uh, nothing great about this bear. It's jointed. Uh, it even has some fur on it. I guess I didn't pull off. <laughs> but it's still sold. Luckily. <laughs> nothing important. 1079. Here's one that I wish I didn't buy. It was sh this is a Shopkins. 20 figure boarding to Europe. I believe I paid five dollars for these and they're just a pain to ship. I have to franken box every single time I sell one and I wish I wouldn't have bought them. I have a few left of them. I wish I didn't but they're just a pain. Franken boxing these things takes so much time and I'm only making like ten dollars each time I sell one, so it's really not worth the effort on those. Just because of the Franken boxing, because they're so long. Here's a Coles Care duck. He sold for decent money, sixteen nineteen. Oh, what is it? What is his real name? It's Mo Williams Duckling gets a cookie. So. Keep an eye out for these. Anything Coles Care sells. Sometimes it doesn't sell for much, but it still sells. Just a little duckling. Here's a Coles Care, as you can see. No, that's it for there. Then he sold for $16, so not bad. Here's a little Minecraft guy. I bought these for $3 a piece on a clearance sale. I bought a bunch of different video game plush. I think I've shown you one of these before. It's just a little video game. He's purple. I mean, he doesn't sell too much, but $13. What the heck? There's another one of these. I believe I showed you one last time. Paid $3 for these two. Selling them for $40. It's an animatronic. His mouth opens. When you pass by him, he jumps out and rawr and scares you. <laughs> I paid again three dollars for these. Yeah, that's what he does. His mouth opens up and his eyes glow. See, <laughs> so it's pretty great. It's probably great for Halloween. I mean, forty dollars a piece. I already sold three. I have seven left. Maybe a couple more than that, but. Yeah, they're selling good, good right now. Probably just for Halloween. Here's a little giraffe puppet. Puppet sell. Everybody loves the puppet. This one's actually going, I believe it's Taiwan. It's going overseas. They uh, paid me... So I actually made $15 on this because they paid me uh, $15 to ship it. To Taiwan, I believe it is. And it only cost me 10 So I made $15 off this, so... It, great profit on a little puppet that's just it's not greatly made but people like it so here's a little cheap tiny little yeah I even have fur on it <laughs> but yeah this one's tiny he's about how tall is he five inches four inches look he's like four inches 
But I, I put them on um, alongside the Chuck E. Cheese dolls. I put them on the same day. And he sold right away. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even get the fur off. That's nasty. I should have at least combed him and got the fur off. And I missed it. But yeah, even with all that, he sold for $10. And he's tiny. I was surprised that he sold at all. I wasn't even going to put him up. But he was Johnny Cat. So I'm like, eh, I'll throw him up. What the heck. There's a uh, Looney Tunes, Tycho, Lovable, Bugs Bunny. He's got little carrots on his underwear. If you can see that, uh, I guess you probably can't see it, but yeah, he is. He's a cute little Bugs Bunny. He's a baby Bugs Bunny. Yeah, you can probably see it right there. His little carrots and there it is, Lovables, and there's a product number. He's a cute little thing, and he went for 14 bucks, so I was happy. Here's a monster gremlin. <laughs> he is all wacky. Look at his face. He is messed up. <laughs> oh, that is one ugly creature. He's not one of the lovable gremlins. He's an ugly one. He actually squeaks when you shake him up and down. This one's a nasty one. This is all hard right here. But yeah, he sold for I believe twenty two dollars. This have Hasbro softies, but his face is actually hard, so you can't believe that. And yeah, he went for twenty two forty nine. He's just a uh, he's not one of the cute gremlins. He's messed up. He's ugly. <laughs> uh, uh, what's this? Oh yeah, these are these were great. I pay I got these ninety percent off two Christmases ago, and I barely listed them a few months ago. The retail value is twenty dollars, and you record your voice to the storybook. It's a cool little story, and I'm selling forty dollars. I already sold all of them. I had three total. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. People are paying double what the retail price were. So I'm happy with that. That was, that was crazy. That's a crazy sell. So just look for recordable storybooks. I never dreamed that this would sell. It's and here's the last one. I found another one of these. I believe I showed you one of these sold last time. But I relisted one of these and he sold. What did he sell for? $62.99 uh, because I had a 10% off sale. This guy's huge. Five Night at Freddy. He's a great little guy. <laughs> I wish I had more of him. I only paid $3 for him, so it was a great find. Huge clearance, so I'm very happy with that. $62. That's a great profit margin. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. Uh, had some great sales this week. 2500 is way more than I expect. That's double than what I need. I need 1200 I made 25 So listing like crazy. Last week paid off great. 303 days listed. It, was, it boosted my sales like crazy. I didn't fiddle, I didn't fiddle fart around. So, <laughs> uh, And an update on the last video that I did or I purchased to flip back on eBay I'll have I just got all the items in uh, two days ago so I'll open them up tell you what I expect to well what I paid and what I expect to get from every item when I have them listed and uh, so that that'll be up um, pretty soon plus in the, if you haven't seen that video the link I'll put the link at the end so follow me on Facebook. The link is down below. Follow my eBay store. That If you want to check that out, that's down below too. If you'd like to help out the channel, the affiliate links are down below. So thanks a lot for watching and take care guys. Bye.